Hi folks, this is Margaret from dataminingdna.com. This is a quick video to answer a question that crops up every now and then on the forums. How do I rename an ancestry tree? It's not obvious, so I'll just take you through the steps. Let's say the tree I wanted to rename is this Dexter family tree. It's not particularly obvious as to how you rename the tree. What you need to do is you need to get to the tree settings. So when you're within the tree itself, just click the drop down menu beneath the tree name, go to the tree settings, and you land on a page that has three tabs. The first tab that is open is the tree info page, and this is the tab that you want. You also get the privacy settings and the sharing settings from here. But basically, you don't need to do any clicks here. On the tree settings, you're on the tree info tab. This is where the tree name is. See Dexter family tree? Suppose I wanted to rename that because I've decided my focus is on the Adams. I could call it Adams family tree. If I've decided that I'm actually doing research and I'm not entirely sure of my facts, what I tend to do is I name my research trees, I prefix them with all capitals research, and then I make sure that they're private and unsearchable. And then just make sure that you save your changes, otherwise the changes won't take effect. So we're now going to save changes, and you can see that the change has immediately taken effect. This tree is now called the Research Adams Family Tree. As usual with Ancestry, there's multiple ways to skin a cat. If you're not working within a tree itself, you can get to the tree settings page from the tree management page. So instead of going into the tree, if you come along to the trees drop down menu, then right down at the bottom, the last entry is create and manage trees. So this will pull up the tree management page. You can see I've got a lot of trees here. Suppose I wanted to rename that tree again. So this research, which one was it? I've just, yeah, okay. So it's, it's this one here, research Adam's family tree. Suppose I wanted to rename that again. If you click on this link here, you're just going right back into the tree itself and you have to go to the menu op options and find tree settings. But you can actually jump straight into the tree settings page from here, right over in the right here, the tools column. It's the very last column. Just click on manage tree and that takes you straight to the tree settings page with the tree info tab open. So here we can call it speculative. And then again, just click Save Changes, and that immediately takes effect. Okay, so that's just two ways to rename your family tree in Ancestry. If you want some in-depth, lengthy tutorials on some more meaty topics of building your tree on Ancestry, we have a whole suite of tutorials on the dataminingdna.com blog. This post here, the In-Depth Guide to Ancestry Part 1, The Essential Tree, that is part one of a lengthy and growing number of in-depth tutorials on different aspects of working with Ancestry and your DNA. And as we drop a new chapter, usually about once a week, you scroll down to the bottom of every chapter and just give us your email. We will send you a notification for every time we publish a new chapter in the guide. We don't spam. We will get a, an email about once a week with notification of a new chapter. Sometimes we will also put in information about major changes in Ancestry or any special deals coming up.